welcome to our baby's room. I'm super excited to finally be filming this video because we've been working on this room probably since January actually I think is when we started painting it. It's quite a small room but we will do our best to show you around so let's go. Go, right. So as you can see we've gone quite girly with a pink feature wall which we absolutely love. I wasn't sure whether to go, well, I was originally thinking like sort of a sage green but then we decided to just go pink and I'm really glad that we did because we've kept the other three walls neutral but we've gone for like the girly touch and then everything else is kind of like whites and creams and greys and it's also got a bit of a cloud theme hasn't it yeah clouds elephants elephants all that good stuff yeah clouds and elephants is the main two things i would have put a little clips in of the room already so you would have been able to see the overall vibe but we'll start by talking through everything i'll pop any relevant links below as well like anything specific that i think people will be like oh where can i get that from i will pop the link below as well but Oh, let's take a breath. Let's start with the cot bed, which is from Mamas and Papas, and it has this amazing drawer underneath, which is one of the reasons why we really liked it because it pulls out and it's just great storage for all the kind of like bedding and blankets and things like that. So we ordered this ages ago, didn't we, in like Black Friday? Yeah, back in November. Yeah. And then it got delivered in March, didn't it? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So we set been... it up. A while ago and then we've just been doing like the finishing touches so we've got the little mobile also from mamas and papas and then my friend got me this which is also mamas and basically everything is mamas and papas and then the fairy lights that are running along the top and down the side are from ikea let me just pop those on even though it's daylight you kind of get and get a vibe for what they look like they are so so lovely in the evening so we absolutely love those and then we've got this hanging cloud which i actually bought for our baby shower which are just from ginger ray but we decided to put two in here so there's one there and then you'll see in a bit there's one on the other side so yeah just going with the cloud theme we just thought they were really really lovely and then above the cot or opposite the cot we've got this lovely shelf Sam's coming in trying to get a trying to get an angle on it, which we got from. Do I get it from Etsy? It's either Etsy or not on the high street, but I'll pop the seller below. Um, it's absolutely perfect for what we wanted. It's just like a very simple white and pink shelf. It was quite expensive because it's like a small business, but I think it was worth it because it's kind of like the feature of this wall. And there's a little elephant from the White Company, and my friend got me this Lottie book. And then these were like some hand-me-down toys from another friend. And then the cloud bunting hanging along the top is from H&M actually. I feel like it looks a bit dirty because we've got a lot of like white, but it is just that kind of cream boucle colour, which is why it looks like boucle. a bit off-white. Is that a colour? No, it's not a colour. Boucle is like the fabric, isn't it? I've never heard of that. I might have just made that up. But anyway, that is from H&M. And then if you pan down, you'll then see that we've got a lovely cute dressing gown that my friend got me from, I think it was just from Amazon actually. So it's this little pink um, dressing gown with ears. And then the cloud hook is also from H&M. So H&M are absolutely nailing all the cloud themes. I also bought a little mirror from there, but we haven't put it up because I'm not entirely sure where to put it yet. Also worth mentioning that obviously she won't be in this room for at least kind of like six months, isn't it? So the bed's not exactly set up how it would be, or the cot, I should say. We've just put this really cute blanket in there that my mum got me for now, just because it looks cute with the grey and cloud theme. And then she's just got some little toys in here and her elephant comforter. This grey elephant and this comforter, both mamas and papas, and then my mum bought this bam bam duck which is also like a rattle which is super cute very cute i love that and then next to the cot i've taken over the filming now <laughs> we've got the cutest little clothes rail which has some of her cutest clothes on there i'm so obsessed with this it probably wasn't the best use of space but i couldn't resist it was in the sale from jojo mum and bebe i think is how you say it that someone made someone JoJo made Mum fun of baby is that what well, it's not baby yeah someone it's... made fun of me for saying bebe and i was like but it's french it's got an accent on it <laughs> yeah it's not spelled like it's spelled like that. anyway this is just so so cute i just got the little hangers from amazon i think and then the clothes are all naught to three 
and then they go up to like three to six so i know my mum got that little card again it's so cute and then my friends bought her the white company dress and i've also been kind enough to get quite a lot of hand-me-downs from my best friend's baby so like we haven't bought all of this new we've not gone <laughs> as mental as it looks as you'll see from the drawers as well we've been lucky to be um, given some nice presents and hand-me-downs and then we've also bought a couple of bits ourselves haven't we yeah. i absolutely love this my mum got this from like an independent shop oh that is just so cute i'm obsessed with it which piece of clothing is your favorite on this rail yeah on the rail um I actually really like the yellow. Yeah. What are these dungarees? That's backwards. Yellow dungas. It's like a romper. romper yeah, dungas. we got that from M and S. Yeah, it's so. I love that as well. Should be good in the summer. Yeah, it's so cute. And then below the clothes, we've just got a little basket which is from TK Maxx with a couple of books in. I got this one off Amazon, and then I think everything else has been gifts. My mum got me this one, which is gorgeous. I got that for Sam when I told him I was pregnant and my friend got me that one at Christmas time. And then there's just like a little lemon rattle in here which is so cute, that was a gift as well. And a little penguin key ring. You gave this to me on our wedding, you know. Seems yeah, yeah. really random, but I'm a bit penguin obsessed, so I think that was meant to be. It wasn't the only present. Little. I, say. <laughs> yeah. it was, I gave you a lot of things that day. Thank it a, you. It wasn't just, here you go. Um, see you down the aisle, and here's a penguin key ring. <laughs> yeah, no, you did. So I haven't even said, say hi. Hello. Hi, <laughs> there's Sam. And then this little bunny at the front, again, was a gift from a lovely friend. So yeah, I just thought that was really cute there. And then moving on next to the rail, we have our dresser, which matches the cot bed. It's the Mia range. I don't even think I said that, but it's the Mia dresser and Mia cot bed. And so it has this like changing table on top, which I believe can come off, right? And it can just be a normal dresser. Yeah, you take this section off and then it's just got a normal top. Yeah. But again, absolutely love this. I love these little booties as well. Oh, they're so cute, aren't they? Very cute. They don't look very practical for walking around no. outside. No. <laughs> and um, you may be wondering why this says little sister. It is because of Basil, our Labrador. I just got this on Vinted because I couldn't resist. It's just like a little sleep suit. So cute. And I didn't really want to pay full price because she probably won't fit in it for very long vintage is great vintage it? is so good right? yeah but yeah we do this is our first baby it's not to get confused <laughs> and then whilst i'm here we should probably talk about the curtains which we are so happy with we got them from the same place that we've got like all our curtains haven't we yes. which is blinds direct blinds direct not sponsored not no <laughs> that would be great do. though because I mean, they're, they're really expensive yeah they because cheap, they're all they cut to size and like custom custom made bespoke custom, i should custom say size, yeah. yeah they're all custom size and they've got obviously got this gorgeous cloud print on and yeah i'm just so so happy with them and we just went for a white rail we just make the room because we already have blackout blinds as well but we also wanted to get blackout curtains just <laughs> let's just make it yeah. super so dark we should in be here. able to get it quite dark in here when we want to yeah exactly and then the um changing mat is also mamas and papas just cute elephants and we have a little towel here as well because i've been told that putting a towel down when you change them is like one of the best things because then it's just the easiest thing to chuck in the wash and then i will show you in the drawers but let's finish the rest of the tour first so just coming to this little shelf which is one of the last things we put we only did this the other day didn't we yeah which is so cute i'm so so happy with this we just got a little picture shelf from home base there's the other cloud so there's one each side of the window and then i just popped baby scan photo there i think that was the 12 week scan and then my mum got the little lamb it came with the book and there's a white company candle here i don't really think you're meant to like candles around babies but it looks nice and <laughs> it smells good and then we've got a picture from our maternity shoot here with Basil. And then my friend got me this gorgeous little ornament with a lovely little message on. So yeah, I just love that shelf. And then moving on from the shelf, we have the big mirror, which we got from 
Marks and Spencers, didn't we, in the end? Yes. We actually bought one from Sainsbury's first of all, and then the quality was really bad, so we had to take it down and spend a little bit more and get something a bit better, but I'm so glad that we did because it just completes the room really nicely, as you can see. It just opens up the space, and I just love the reflection because you can see the pink wall and the fairy lights and the cloud bunting and the shelf, and it just gives a really lovely overall view of the room and her little dressing gown again you can see makes the room bigger we, we got we pretty much got a mirror in most rooms and i think it's you quite need important. a mirror in every yeah. room little bump date at 30 i'm pretty much 38 weeks 38 weeks i know it's yeah mad. 37 slash 38 weeks and yeah my dress is from seraphine by the way if you're wondering what this Saucy I love number this dress, is. And it's got special flaps, hasn't it? It does, yeah. It's got flaps. I'm just wearing a normal bra so I can do this, <laughs> not just bare boob. Um, but it's meant to be good for breastfeeding as well. Perfect. So this was kind of gifted, but it's super, super comfy and I feel I feel really nice in it because it's quite hard to dress the bump, but it feels yeah. feels lovely today. Sam's now gonna talk about his favourite part of well, the room, which is We actually spent a long time talking about nappy bins, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. Like more than a lot of the other things we just we weren't didn't... sure whether to bother getting one because you have to pay for all the cartridge refills don't you yeah and it's it's not just that but we actually didn't like the look of a lot of them anyway so anyway yeah. we've settled for this which is basically boom, boom. <laughs> it's so anticlimactic it's bin. <laughs> look at my bin basically oh. it's a bathroom bin but it has a a no touch open yeah and, and then it automatically shuts yeah, and I think you can hold, you know, we'll probably bag the nappies Woo! and then throw them in. Probably could get a good time. Yeah, know, we've got nappy 20 bags. Twenty nappies in that, so that'd be fine. Exactly. So yeah, we're happy with that. It can just sit there in the summer when the radiator's not on, and then it can go probably here at other points. Um, and yeah, this is the last little thing to show before I show you in the drawers is just this little basket that we got from Primark actually, and it's just got a couple of blankets and this really lovely comforter that um, my sister got me, which is super cute. And then we thought over time, you might build a little bookcase here, mightn't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm gonna try to do that during my paternity leave. But it would have to not get in the way of the, the drawer, that's the only thing this with pulling this out. It's really low profile, and I can custom make it to fit around that plug and stuff. I'll have a think, yeah. it's a nice project for me. This is the view from the floor. I just, I'm literally so obsessed with this room. It's, yeah, like I said, small, but pretty perfect, isn't it? Love it. I also forgot to mention there's a little basket here. My mum got me a hamper. If you saw my third trimester vlog, you would have seen the amazing gifts that she gave. Um, and now this is just a great little storage hamper that's there. But over time, you might be able to put... Actually, you can't really put, like, a unit there because when baby is a toddler, she can, like, stand grab and it, grab yeah. it and pull it over. It. Yeah. But, yeah, I thought I'd just quickly show in the drawers a quick overview. Look at the organisation. In fact, I don't even think you know what's in these. I Well, um, you do update me every time you add an item. You're like, right, I need to <laughs> reorientate you to the whole drawer again. Yeah. So, I, I don't think you ever listen, though. Well, I just I just think within a few days or weeks, it's just going to yeah. be all over the place. Anyway. It will be. And but also, nice we've also got quite a lot of things, obviously, in the hospital bag. So we've got newborn baby grows in the hospital bag and newborn vests and other things. So... This all fits in now, but as soon as the new stuff, the stuff from the bag comes back, there's going to be like no space. So we've basically got sleep suits here in newborn and then they go up to like up to one month. And then these are naught to three. We didn't buy too much newborn stuff because I've heard it's a little bit pointless and she might be large. Um, so we'll see. And then there's some sort of three to six month ones at the back. And then nappies. This is just really therapeutic this drawer I just love it we've got nappy sacks wipes nappy cream this one's meant to be really good and then we've got a little what's in this again it's kind of like a medical sort of bag I don't, know. I don't even think I've looked in this it's right. got like nail file clippers oh, okay. um hairbrush what's this is it like a nasal like oh, spray yeah. or nasal reliever syringe like do you like Suck blow out. out the air, blow out the snot or something, oh thermometer. God. Um this was a gift, like obviously a really nice okay. practical gift. That's good little mini nail file. Yeah, so cute. File isn't the it? mini nails. Yeah. Lovely. So cute. And okay. then um we've got some muslins. I've got these dotted like all around the house, but we've got a few in there and then newborn vests. There's quite a few short sleeve vests there. Everything is washed and organised. 
and it just feels so good. And then the next drawer is basically pretty much all not to three. I think these are actually newborn. Again, like I said, a lot of them are hand-me-downs, which has been amazing. And then in this one, we've got kind of like socks and bibs and hats. This one is so cute. And little booties. And then, yeah, these are all not to three vests. We have got so many not like to three vests. I know. Oh, you like that one. <laughs> I got you that. I got you that at Christmas, I think, actually. Yeah. I'm so thoughtful. It's yeah, such a useful to gift some, for you. Like yeah. <laughs> but yeah, these are short sleeve vests, and then there's a couple of long sleeve vests. Good folding. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it doesn't my, matter. Normally I'm a bit better than that. I know, it doesn't matter. I was just matter. trying to do it quickly. There and then go. these are like 0 to 3, uh, more like day outfits, I guess, that didn't quite make it to the rail. Um, so like various leggings and jumpers and vests. The they didn't make the rail. Well, the rail is like more um, more fancy items, I think. Yeah, I've got a matching this jumper one's to that. Cute, isn't it? You've got the mama so and mini. Cute. That's naught to six, so I have no idea when that will fit her, but it's so cute. And then there's some cardigans at the back. And then little rompers. My sister got these, they're so cute. Little dungarees, that's another romper. Cardigan. So yeah, it doesn't really have too much rhyme or reason. I figured that obviously as soon as she's out of newborn stuff, like the vests and this and this stuff here then it all just gets rearranged anyway, doesn't yeah. it? So you'll well, quickly... It's re going to be a fluid situation. Exactly. And the last drawer is pretty much all three to six, so I haven't really bothered washing this. A lot of this stuff is hand-me-downs, um, apart from these two things on the top. And then, yeah, my friend got me a pack of three to six vests, which is amazing. I love this print because it's got rainbows and koalas. And then there's a few bits we bought in the sale. Um, and yeah, my best friend also bought these really cute rompers for summer, so cute. So yeah, it's nice and colorful in there. And again, this will get organized a bit better when she actually fits into it. And then I've just got some breast pads and some other breast related items here that I've had a really good, just to, to store them away for now. Right, let's close, and close the breast related the, items. <laughs> those are the drawers. Back. Do you reckon we'll do like a newborn vlog? I don't know, up to you. We'll see how we, see go. How we go. Okay, and the last thing is just the drawer under the cot. Ta-da! This is the organised under cot bed drawer. We've got this gorgeous little box that um, some of my friends got me for my baby shower, which is so cute. And then some blankets. And this is kind of like bedding, so I believe this one is like spare spare bedding for the snooze pod which is our next to me crib upstairs there's a little sleep bag in there and some other spare bedding and this new love to dream swaddle which i also got on vintage which i need to wash because that's going to go in a hospital bag it's so cute for how soft that is yeah very soft it's bamboo that one because our bedroom gets quite hot so i thought it'd be bamboo? good for summer it's like a natural breathable i don't know it's this 95 percent viscose from, from bamboo. From bamboo, yeah. 5% elastane. Yeah, and yeah. then more bedding in here. I think that's spare cot bedding. And that's the H&M mirror I was talking about that we haven't actually used. But if you want a cloud mirror, then they do that in H&M. And then here we've got some sleep bags. So we've got this Hello Little Star one, which I think is one tog, so better for summer. But I've heard these are better when baby's a bit bigger because it's naught to six months so it would drown her at the moment and then got this really cute naught to three tommy tippy one that my sister got and um, that i can't wait to use that's again one tog and it seems a little bit bigger than the love to dream swaddle so i thought we'd start with that then move on to that and then i've got this 2.5 tog one so this is more of a winter one so we're kind of covered in the sleep bag department and then I've just got these little white company bags that literally has like one hanger in it. And then this one has little hats. Look how cute this one is. Very cute. Are you going to put it on? <laughs> and then your sister also got this one, which is oh, so yeah. cute. It's a little bunny. 
So these are all kind of like different sizes, so we'll see how big her head is. If she's anything like you, then she'll have a huge head. Yeah, well, if she is like me, then these will not fit her at all. <laughs> no, they will, they will. For like one day. And then the last couple of items, we've just got her towels. So this is a koala hooded towel. How cute. Very cute. That's from Mamas and Papas. So that's kind of like, I feel like all babies need a hooded towel, don't they? Because they're just so cute. And then we've just got another towel here, which was another hand-me-down. So I'm not sure where this, oh, it's actually the white company. So snazzy. And yeah, that's just a little, little baby towel. And that's the end of the room tour. Amazing. I, I Did loved you love it. it. I enjoyed it. 10 you out of 10. It. And we've worked hard on this room. Like I said, we've, we painted it in January and then we've done, you built the furniture in March. And then we've been putting up mirrors and shelves and various things. So it's been a labour of love, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. It's nice that we started early because we've done it quite gradually. Exactly. I remember when we started painting and people were like, oh my God, you're doing it so early. But we knew that it would take time and that things weren't coming for a while and stuff. So it was. I'm so glad we did it when we did because you know what life is like. It gets busy. So you've got to take those opportunities. She's kicking as well. She's like, I love my room. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that concludes this room. There's a couple of things I might show you upstairs though, because we've got like the next to me crib and a couple of other things up there. So I feel like it's relevant to show you. So I'm gonna do that next. And Sam is going to hopefully crack on with some jobs and then make us a barbecue because it's bank holiday weekend and I was promised a barbecue. <laughs> and the weather has exceed, exceeded the forecast. Yeah, so. hence, the, hence the dress. I feel like I can finally wear a spring dress because I've been dying to wear this stuff. But yeah, I hope you like the room. So I thought I would finish the nursery tour off by showing you our bedroom because we've got a few things for baby in here including the next to me crib, we've gone for the snooze pod which we are very kindly borrowing from a friend which is amazing because save money where you can um, and it has the fold down side which is amazing and it's adjustable and everything because our bed is actually really quite tall because we've got a big mattress and a topper as well so this has just been perfect and then we just went for some mamas and papas bedding in there I think it was a two pack it's like a stripy one and then um, a grey one so this is all washed and ready for her I cannot believe that there is going to be a baby in here so soon it's so exciting scary but exciting and then this is the snooze cloud which is like a white noise one and it also has some cute little lights on it i have been listening to this so much at night there's a rain setting which sets me right off to sleep so hopefully it does to baby as well and hopefully she is used to hearing it as well because i'm playing it most nights um, and it automatically turns off after 20 minutes which is great so yeah that's the next to me crib set up we are going to be spending a lot of time in here with my maternity pillows which hopefully will come in handy keep me nice and comfortable and we also bought this um tray from amazon it has like foldable legs so we can stand it on the bed because i figured that we're going to be doing a lot of ipad or laptop watching in bed so handy little thing from amazon and then over here we just have the grow egg night light or rim thermometer my mum bought me this my sister recommended it and i've seen loads of people talk about it so it just glows different colors depending on the temperature of the room which is really handy this room does get quite warm i think ideally it's meant to be between 16 and 20 but obviously it's been like quite a sunny day so yeah this is usually sitting around 20 or just under so yeah really really handy to know what the room temperature is and then the final little baby setup in here is this side where we've got a changing basket again uh, i'm borrowing this from a friend which is super handy because it just means we've got a little area to change her up here in the middle of the night or if we're just up here in the day which is fab and then this nappy caddy is just from Amazon. And in here I've got more nappies, I've got muslins, I've got reusable breast pads, uh, more nappies there. I've got this nipple cream that my mum actually recommended, or nipple balm, um, another muslin, and then more of that nappy cream. And then wipes, obviously, these ones are just the boots. I thought I'd see if these are better or the same as the water wipes then obviously they're cheaper so we've got quite a few of those as well and then also some cotton pads if we don't get on with the wipes so I feel like this is kind of all ready to go and of course you can take it downstairs with you or wherever but I thought it was quite handy having it in here 
because obviously I don't have like designated drawers. Um, and then oh, also nappy sacks, very important. And then last but not least, we've got this gorgeous little nightlight. I need to show this at night actually, because it is so, so cute. It basically has one of those, it's like a projector. So it projects stars and moons and things onto the ceiling, which is really lovely. And you can play white noise and music and stuff through it. So yeah, you can have it projecting on the ceiling or you can just have it as a little nightlight. So yeah, really, really excited to use that. Oh, I'm so excited now. I feel like filming these videos just makes me more excited because sometimes when you just kind of sit with your own thoughts, you get like more scared and nervous. But when I like share the exciting things like the nursery and I've shared things in my third trimester vlog and I did the hospital bag video, I just feel like it makes you actually appreciate how exciting it is rather than kind of just get a little bit nervous and freak yourself out. So it's been really lovely to film this and I really hope that you've enjoyed it as well. I need to take a breath, this is, whew pregnancy life. I am so obsessed with this dress. I'll actually link it below because it's just such lovely quality and I rate it so, so highly. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it, to click the subscribe button for more content and check out my other pregnancy videos from workouts to hospital bag to vlogs to our baby moon. And this will definitely be the last video before she's here. So I will see you when I see you and sending lots of love to anyone who is on their pregnancy journey. And I will probably be updating my Instagram before YouTube at some point. So don't forget to follow me over there and I will hopefully see you soon. Bye.